Alright, hello, welcome. So today I'll be playing C3 Augustus custom map. Or uh, we are gonna be playing with Augustus, but it is a map designed for Julius. And it's made by Marius Brana and it has some instructions. But uh, again, I, I don't think Marius a native English speaker and so the English is gonna be a little bit broken in the instructions. So if there is anything like that. Just know that um, it's not because I'm bad at reading stuff, it's because it's how it's written. So I'm gonna read it exactly as it, as it is stated. Julius map, possibly Augustus II. Letter from Caesar. I send you my best governor, build a city on the smallest island on the Mare Nostrum. Build summer villas for our retired patricians. Show Rome greatness by building the Hippodrome and the Colosseum. We want to show our gratitude to those faithful patricians who had served us uh, during the war. Just make a beautiful city in 31 year plan. Uh, in 31 years. Uh, plan your city well on the island before you start building on map because you don't have much space here. I give you best trade routes at sea and land, but you only have clay and marble. No enemy here. Greeting, Caesar. Caesar's letter be sound more made up, nothing is, is to Provence. Okay, so uh, some options, small map, architect salary, 1500 savings, no enemies, clan marble, uh, second vine, and fish. Okay, so it's a small map, it's a puzzle map, so that's what it's all about. Um, this is it, let's shuffle this. Let's take a look, we start with 6750 denari. Check our advisors. We will reduce our salary to 5 denari per month. We start with 30 favor. So we need to be mindful of that. We've got 336 months until defeat. And Augustus means that we'll have to construct uh, monuments if we want to survive. So it's not going to be as simple as in Julius where just slap it down. In here you actually have to build it with materials, so again, that's gonna be a little bit tougher. Entry point, exit point right here. And this is a geometric map, sort of, that's how I feel about it. Like you can see the water is clearly uh, very straight. From the comfort of my villa, I perceive life here to be very good. Hey, you can. Welcome. Thanks for the reason. You've got the uh, complementary native hut as it is on every <laughs> map. <laughs> this time it's very close, so we might be using it, but then again, I have clay, and there are trade routes who buy shit tons of pottery. <laughs> so I don't think we will need it, really. Money doesn't seem like it's gonna be an issue. Okay, Cartago Nova is gonna be the first trade route to open up. We need to design our first block, so let's do it here. I think it will fit industry uh, around here. Let's clear some of these trees. There is plenty of fertile land and you can make farms of wheat. And it's a central map, so... Uh, feeding people is not gonna be an issue since we have 4000 population goal. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be that difficult. But the map is not large, as Maria stated, it is a sort of a puzzle map and so we will have to uh, fit stuff where it fits. So let's start designing our block over here. I want to do something a little bit different with it. I don't want it to be completely 22 by 6. If we save space, then we can fit more of these blocks. And if we do small insulate, we should be set up fairly well to be able to deal with whatever's ahead. It's not a large block by any stretch, but it's gonna do its job. Okay. I think we... Uh, do we have plaza? Yes. So, reservoir right there. And then some houses on this side should be keeping a spot open for 
transport of things, scared engineer, and a prefect, and a doctor. We want that to connect up to a logistics area. Which I'm thinking we feed them from this point, most likely. So let's add doctor and barber here. Plus you want small temples. Preferably we would be fitting these into a dump somewhere, but... I don't think you can, so just put it here for now. Because I'm not sure what kind of areas you'll be using up. So we'll put the first temples in the block proper. And then see what happens. So that's our first area. Waiting for the devilish twist on this map. It's no military. It might have an earthquake or something. Uh, trade is easy as is usual with Mario maps. Uh, this was uh, this one's not made to be super crushing. I think it's about building the monuments in timely fashion It's about beating it in this time limit while the goal state you need to build a Colosseum and a Hippodrome But Augustus means that this is significantly tougher than in Julius It's not just pop it down whatever whatever, you know, and so I'm thinking we just not do that because <laughs> it's just not good um, We'll see maybe we can manage it yeah, the time limit is, is kind of tight. But again, if we make surplus money, which we should be able to do, it's about just constantly building up, right? So it's probably not going to be that difficult, even with that time limit in mind. Everything seems to be going well so far. Just let people move in. We do have some unemployment. Alright. So let's take a look. I will need to do... What's the farming like? Vines and olives. Fruits and wheat. So we only need to import timber. So let's keep some space. Good city building without interruptions. Yeah, basically. Again, not no need to just play... Um, uh, horribly difficult maps all the time so since we are kind of out of those for the moment since we are waiting on the bane to be back to do some more AI Caesar I figured we might as well do this one okay uh, so we opened up the trader I should have waited on that actually there's no no reason to have it open before you really make anything <laughs> you know oh yeah and this can be bridged or we could bridge there I'm gonna bridge there like her for marble. Hey Ligar, welcome. No, doesn't it work? It's an issue with the sound files. Because no is currently a different thing. Oh, where is it? Commands. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. I'll have to fix that. Need to add a new one. Sound files. So let's put down, we need a lot of pottery, we'll be able to export shit tons of it, so no reason to skimp on it, really. Start with this, make a warehouse over here. Let's 
it's gonna get a connection. This is gonna become a block of industry. A roadblock that. Now, can we put this here? Probably can. Prefecture. Let's put it there. It's gonna accept water. Plaza already. Hey, pizza. Hey, pizza. Now, welcome. Thanks for the raid. How are you doing? I see we are playing the interesting game uh, from medieval Japan again, right? Okay, what do we do next? We do food, I guess. Or we could just expand the industry a bit for now. We can still export a lot more. China, actually, okay. Interesting. Is it the same sort of game though? Like, mechanically speaking? Japan will be back soon, okay. Good to hear that. That was interesting. I never even heard about it before I saw you play it. Certainly unique. Samish. Okay. Same-ish. Well, it looked uh, fairly similar mechanically speaking to me. I just saw it on the overlay, so I didn't really go into it. But yeah, seemed pretty neat. Start making a couple of farms. Let's get a granary. Oh yeah, I need my overlay so that we can just get a nice little ground level view on these. I'm gonna be starting with about four farms. It's gonna be enough. Let's put down. Oh, yeah, Prefect and Engineer actually need to go here. And we'll be doing a road tile as well as a road block. Plus a market. And I also want to get a warehouse right there. This warehouse is not gonna allow traders and it's gonna get. 8 water. So we want to slightly overproduce this. Let's go ahead and expand the industry. It's a different from uh, this from Total War type games. Yeah, definitely. It's more like uh, it reminds me a little bit of Crusader Kings in terms of its uh, like uh, character mechanics where people actually matter more than you would have in Total War, for example. And definitely some systems are more complex, it's just, you know, it seems odd, I never, never even heard about it or anything. Okay, so we should be getting this block up to higher population soon. We will be doing a theater as well as a school. We should see some first pottery being made soon. We'll be exporting it over eight units so that we retain some stocks for the block itself. This is going to accept wheat. We'll need to think about temple dumping soon. Where do we do it? I'm thinking I just put them here, really, on this little island. Oh yeah, we also have marble on this one. We could just, if we have labor, we could just make uh, monuments instead, which would be better than small temples. But let's start with one set. 
of small temples at least. be taxing these buggers. I want to go with an amphitheater as well, which is going to be a bit of an issue. Let's keep a spot there. You can fit an amphitheater here. Okay, now these things. clear this. There's gonna be more than enough food for everyone I think so it's fine to just put it like this even if it does encroach on the farmland a little bit. We are running low on funds but we'll get the bailout as well as the exports should be kicking in fairly soon. We need to make eight units for them to uh, buy it up. It should happen fairly quickly now. And the initial feeding, oh yeah, no bailout, okay. Yeah, no bailout and 25 favor. That's dangerous, we need to not piss off Caesar. So we don't want to go into debt anymore. It's November, I'm gonna probably start exporting absolutely every single piece. So now it's gonna make its way to the block, so it should be fine. Yep. Just made some money, plus blessing from Neptune. And it's December, so quota is gonna get refreshed. So I think it's a solid start. And we have Insulae already. Let's put down some legionary statues. I'm gonna be going with parks for some ponds, I guess. Parks, marble column. Trees, oh, let's do. Elm tree. Let's do medium statue. And a senator statue there. Population milestone. Okay, this is struggling to feed itself a little bit. So let's add another market to that. Plus, you'll be going with more farms. Which we will roadblock that off. These are covered from this road. So we can have this walled off with a roadblock. And we want a prefecture as well. Where do we put that? Thinking we just do something like this for now. This is a lot more wheat than we will need initially, but uh, it's gonna be good long term to have that stock. Let's put down a prefect. These guys might need their extra thing. Uh, let's do. Is it paths? No. Parks, yeah. I'm gonna do some lead hedges, I guess.
That should be sufficient for these. And tax money should be coming in. We will pay people a little more. Charge them 8%. We want to expand to the pottery mines. Let's do it. Let's so show this prefect is kind of screwing up with my designs here. So a yeah, time limit is a thing. So we'll need to keep tabs on that. It's going to be going eight. So that means three more of these. And this is pretty horrific in terms of walkers, but it's probably gonna be fine. Let's check the prefect coverage. Yeah, it's okay. It's like the um, double loop, basically. So first block set up and stable. Now let's take a look at population advisor. We can still fit 600 more people, but it's not an insane amount. So let's clear this shrubbery. I'm gonna be going with a low bridge somewhere over here. Let's excavate some marble. It's actually kind of tight on this. I might want this bridge to be elsewhere. I did kind of think about it before here, but uh, yeah, I guess we are located this clay pit. Will it solve it though? Probably not, yeah. If I want to, it still needs to have access from the other side. So I'll just put that back in. Um, a little bridge right here. Where materials? Clay pit. No, 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 not clay pit. Um, marble. Let's put it there. We need a warehouse. Let's put it down there. Plus an architect. So as a work camp. Let's get services. For this. It's gonna accept marble. It's, uh, it's unfortunate we cannot fit it there. I might have to fiddle around with this. Large mausoleum there. We can do a couple of small ones as well. Okay, we need to start thinking about another block. We probably could just put it adjacent to this and then reserve this for patricians. What we should do also favor is not high there should be some requests coming soon but i'll send him a gift and is this fishing area it is right yeah it is it's also fish there but this is too tight for ships to pass through so i'm gonna be using this for fish um we have money, so we should probably focus on getting another block over here. Similar way as last time, but keep some space. Yeah, some of them ran out of pottery. I'll need to probably adjust the trade advisor now. Let's put over the 80 nets. So how many tiles is that? It's three. 
So it's zero root plus two, that's not good enough. So let's put it there. Seems to be good enough to me. This is gonna be a bit difficult, but still doable. Now this is where it's gonna get ugly. That's for sure. So let's just put it there. Not gonna be a perfect block by any stretch of the imagination. Plus the war thing is gonna be uh, at least a little bit awkward. Where do you want our logistics area to be? I'd probably like it to be here. Or here, we could just yeah, tap this. Let's put in a prefect. Let's get a barber. I'm just gonna put them here. Doctor. We want some extra housing. We want a reservoir there. Plus some extra houses on this side. Temples. Let's put them here. Yeah, they are running low on both area. Which means we only need to just increase it even more, I think. If we have enough input, we should be fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. Densify them up. Mm, actually not there. Could actually put these here. How much putter do we need? A lot. We can sell a whole bunch, so if money is a problem, we can always just make more and sell it. The map is trivial in terms of trade, like I have only opened up the first trade route, it's 40 pottery per year with vanilla prices. That is the second one I can open up uh, whenever I want, like now. So yeah, we need quite a bit. Market. Let's put down a granary right there. Let's get food in here. I think we are overproducing it over here anyway, so might as well get it. Cam is frozen. Why is it? Why is it like that? Is there a reason for it? Okay, let me check the cables. I've reconnected the cam, but it doesn't seem to be working. 
Now, when you have OBS and you just uh, pull some connector out and then in, it might not register it immediately. And that's probably what's happening here. So you're just gonna have to have Caesar instead of me. Sorry for that. There is nothing I can do. I could uh, just take a look at it. It's stuck. Why is it stuck? This is a good law. Yeah. But this shouldn't be happening. It's the problem. Like, why is it doing that? It shouldn't be doing this. You can deactivate and activate. Is it better now? Yeah. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, it's back. Let's get a couple of farms going over here. Oh yeah, I'm also going to accept 16 fish in this one, I guess. Yeah, plus uh, this market is... Going to only this uh, not distribute fish, that is, yeah. Um, plus, we want a warehouse somewhere else. Where is it gonna be? I think we just put it here. This thing is going to get eight pottery. No traders. Was it up? What are these? Now, we all have unemployment, it's sky high, so we'll need to start making some furniture. So who sells timber? Cartagonova sells timber. Mm, so this is going to accept 16 timber. Workshop for furniture. Four. Oh yeah, this needs to go like this. Plus you want a warehouse. It's going to accept furniture over here. Build up a stockpile of it. Import popsicle sticks. Get that. Let's get an amphitheater. Okay, that one would not work. This one would. Let's get a school. Let's get a farm. to be working well. Let's get some ponds. Some people love ponds apparently. Parks. Uh, freaking obelisk. Let's get that and a tray. Lararium there, plus there are Lararia in here. That should help them. Oh yeah, they need Actors Colony and Gladiator School. Just gonna be a bit awkward, let's just put it here. Hmm. 
make it so that we can have that. We want the shipyard over here. Couple of wharfs. It's already quite hideous. But you need to just fit every single square. That's how it is on these sorts of maps. Mm, that wouldn't necessarily help me. If I do a prefect, this is gonna uh, screw up with this a bit. That's fine. So we should get better coverage for entertainment now. Also more food. And we need to start building patricians soon. Uh, we can make our own wine and oil. So for that, we will probably relegate this area. To, to oil farms or olive farms, uh, workshops. I'm not gonna bother with not building on the fertile land, that's not a concern here. Workshop for vine. Prefect engineer, we need a warehouse. It's gonna go right there. This is gonna accept. 1616, no traders. What's next? It seems like we are still not making enough pottery. I'll probably just raise the cap of exports over 16 in the city and that should be fine. Still need a bit more food over here. Is this having access? It probably does not. Yeah, it does not. Okay, let's have it have it out and then it's gonna get covered by the services from this place. So it should be fine. So we should be making fish, we should be making oil and wine. Now we need monuments, which we don't have that much marble yet. I'm gonna probably go with mausoleums for health reasons. Let's make sure we roadblock that off. The bridge would be horrible. Uh, okay, uh, this... Entertainment, not enough. Oh, because this is spawning here now. I get it. We can just shuffle some temples around, it's just not very good use of our time. Let's put them here. Let's put this here. Which is gonna mean that this is gonna get freed up so that we can fit more wharfs. Right there. Let's get some Lararii over here. This should mean that the entertainment gets better, yeah. Which means taxes will flow in, we have 10,000 already. We can still make more pottery and sell more pottery, but uh, there is very little reason for that. Furniture seems to be doing fine, we have some oil and a bit of wine already. Let's start making the patricians. This is gonna be marble area. Oh yeah, we can also make marble from here. So clay and marble. So let's start making some marble quarries over here. Oh yeah, bridging. Um, low bridge over here is fine. Raw materials, marble. You only shit tons of marble. Unfortunately, that part is cut off now. But that's fine, we can still use it if you want. Raw materials, clay. Two is enough. 
Let's get warehouses going. Need to create a connection that's gonna be road blocked off. So that this clipet has access even if it spawns on the wrong side. Should probably will. Let's have that. Plus we want these. It's gonna be quite horrible for walkers, but they should be able to deal with it. Hopefully. And this is going to get no traders. It's gonna get eight wood, accept sixteen marble and eight clay. Get eight wood, sixteen marble, eight clay. It's a significant chunk of the industry. gonna be enough mausoleums oh yeah no traders they love to come here but no one market is not enough is it gonna spawn on the wrong side of course well, let's just not have that. That's sort of helping. Could even get rid of this style. That's gonna help. Plus, we want more food. Just slide down some extra farms this way. There's too much about space. <laughs> Entertainment again? Or what is the issue? Entertainment, not enough. Why? Oh, uh, maybe because they have another access point through there. I see, yeah, right. Let's make this a thing. Roadblock it. Now they should get it again. Okay, we have a bunch of materials. Clear this. I'm going to be making a hippodrome. Where is its access point? There. Architects. Except marble. Oh yeah, this one is not gonna happen. Because it needs to be like that. gonna set this to get marble instead so we don't need as much over here let's remove these since they are superficial and marble is the main thing we need now second stage over there I would also like a grand temple to Venus so you can make the patricians be truly Something. <laughs> there are many issues. We have time. Let's advance it. Let's send Caesar a gift. Pay people a little more money. And we have high unemployment. That's for sure. We might actually start on the patrician block. So it will need to be here. Need to anchor it against this, I guess. Statues, got us statues. It's a road tile. Oh yeah, 
One more tile. down extra patricians on this side. I'm actually gonna keep this for a reservoir spot. Loop it, it's not gonna be the biggest block ever. Doesn't matter, you don't need it. Let's put down a reservoir there, plus connect it up to another one. Let's put fountains down. We need logistics area, which I think will connect this up to be our logistics. We can grow some fruits over here. Let's pacify these natives. Small temples, let's put them down over here, keep a road connection going there. Market, form, theater, School, keep some space. Granaries. This last one is going to get fish. This one's gonna accept fruits. This one's gonna get wheat. Farms for fruits. This road is gonna become part of this. Quite hideous. I'll have to make sure we have enough services around. I actually want to ship this mission post there. Let's get our things. Actors. Lion pet. Let's get an arena. Amphitheater. Actually, probably have to sacrifice one of the patricians by the looks of it. Because I need so many things still, and I don't have the space for it. Hospital. Academy. Library. Still need a tavern, so let's shift one of the small temples. Plaza. Let's get a connection, road locket. Let's get patricians in. Trick them with some gardens. We need goods. So let's put down warehouses. Still, this is uh, horrendous for coverage, so let's just make sure nothing burns down. I cannot be bothered to make it more efficient. Uh, let's get some furniture. Let's get some pottery. 
no traders. Let's get some oil. Let's get some wine. Materials are in short supply now. That's fine. We'll have enough eventually. And the chariot maker as well. Blessing from Neptune, monument completed, that's the Hippodrome, which we will cut off access to with this, so that it only goes here. And yeah, unemployment is now gone in its entirety. It's gonna get worse as well. You can start fitting houses in awkward positions. This is no longer needed. Just make this. It's not gonna be a huge amount of extra people, but it's gonna help. Same deal over here. Just need a fountain to water it properly, which is gonna be a bit of an issue. Let's put the series temple on the other side. Can you not have it? Okay, I'm gonna have to redesign that. Put that there, put it there, put this there, somewhere. I'm gonna let him move this warehouse. Hey, Flutter Nancy, welcome. That will still work. Okay, and the market is now spawning on the other side. <clears throat> so let's block that off. So that they fix it. They should be fixing it. Bath house, right? Forgot. Where do we put that? I don't have very good spots for it. Because of this chungus. I could just uh, not have them have that many guards, maybe. They will want it, though. Which is a problem. Uh, oh well. We've already figured that out. Could we corner that? Yeah, we could save like one tile with that. So that's gonna leave us with forum over here. Just gonna require shift this and that. So that was a hospital, wasn't it? So that leaves us with two extra spots. So now, what was the other thing? Amphitheater? If it is an amphitheater, then we might have a problem. Let's put it there. Let's put this down there. Let's do a library and then a form over here. Equestrian statues. Let's go with the bigger one here. And hopefully the Venus Temple is gonna mean that we'll be able to cover it properly. And why did I want that? Oh yeah, uh, I remember now. Decoration, 
Let's get a reservoir. Hey, Frey Handscom, sir. Uh, do you need forms too close to each other? No, I have two. Alright. Mistake. What I wanted was a temple. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> um, yeah, I need another one, so that's gonna fix it. Get on insulate. Patricians. We need to say that we are importing a second type of wine. Where from? Wines. Uh, wine from the sea trader, but... Yeah, where is it? We are importing... Oh. It's the other one. Right. It's gonna bitch at me that we don't have a dock now. I don't want to have a dock though. Importing one unit. Strict them with gardens. Third type of food. This is getting things? It is. Is this accepting? Oh, maybe this market is feeding them fish as well. Yeah, that's a problem. It's only reserved for patricians, that's how it should be. Should get some f fish in here, yeah. <laughs> I was building the temples and then I completely forgot why I was doing that. Uh, unemployment is fine. Prosperity should be fine. Favor. It's gonna be something. There were no requests at all throughout this whole map, which I don't agree with. It's not good. Let's just keep keeping him. Peace is a timer. Uh, prosperity will rise up to a hundred. Need to constantly give him now, which is gonna be a bit annoying, to say the least. So this should be stable. We might face some demographic shift a little bit, but it shouldn't be anything impactful, really. And patricians are still moving in. Financially, the city is more than stable, but you don't even need to do half of the exports at all. Send him a gift. 53 favor. I might have to build a dog just so that it stops bitching at me. It's not dockable. Where is the... Is this where it's supposed to be? Yeah. Okay. Just have it. So that we don't get the constant message spam. time for a gift yet which is a little bit concerning looking at the favor goal it's not good we could pair ourselves up to eight but that's not gonna help me much I'm gonna have to do a medium gifts each year I hope that's enough more micro than I would like but well eleven months twelve months no requests at all Fun.
Eight months. The best one hour and six minutes, of which five minutes was the wind up. And so it was done like, I don't know, ten minutes ago. <laughs> so it's just event spam now. Oh well. Cannot always have nice things. We didn't have to micro every single tile on the map. So at least that is that. Um, let's wait for two more months. Gift. Send to do favor. This is all concerned. Yeah, I mean, you can still get away with a little more heresy than I did. So it depends what you go for, I guess, as a map maker. It's just to me, the sandbox maps never seem too interesting, but we ran out, so I decided to play this one. Um, I don't want to shit on it. I know Maria has put in work into it and tried to make it good, and this is what she likes. She likes uh, to have sort of regular blocks as well as natives on a map so you know it's her thing i don't want to be mean or anything it's just not the most challenging thing ever as you might have guessed from the gameplay while adding no requests is just puzzling to me but oh well a thing. 12 months. I'm gonna wait for a little bit of extra money. can do a medium gift. And then a small one or whatever and we will be fine. Culture is 61. That's only 20 gold so it's fine. The spirit is at 100 piece. Yeah. Could even get <clears throat> fewer patricians and get away with it. Oh, it's a survival time as well. So we need to hold that favor until the end of this. All right, so we we'll need to gift more. So we need to sit on those goals until it happens. Anything else on the menu today? Maybe another Julius map which could be done in Augustus. There are some like that, but some of them are just plain impossible with Augustus, just because of it relies on you building things that are just not simple in Augustus. And also the economic challenge. If it's tailored to be as difficult as possible in Julius, I'm talking about Palmer's maps here. If it's tailored to be as difficult as possible in Julius, well, Augustus is gonna make it impossible because love it. Plain and simple. That extra upkeep, it's like half extra wages you pay per year from the entire wage bill. And so you can imagine that doesn't synergize very well with a map that's being tailored um, as to be as tight as possible. Space-wise as well, Augustus cities are larger, so, you know. Uh, also has an impact. Yeah, you had some devolution there. Export over 24. Break the meta. It's not a meta, it's just, you know, the inherent nature of Augustus. One last year. Let's accept our promotion.
Thanks, guys. Okay, so yeah, uh, we can take a look at it. How times can one get promoted? Well, it depends, but uh, considering what the campaign is, um, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, you play custom maps that are much harder than any campaign map could ever be, and you still uh, get rank of like clerk, so the rank system is just completely broken. It's not representative of difficulty at all. While at the same time, the if you play a map from the city construction kit, it will actually say difficulty wise, it's an easy assignment because it has lower rank, but lower rank means you get less money to bribe Caesar with. So it's uh, actually harder if you have lower salary in vast majority of cases, unless you play the campaign and you start as a scrub. So uh, it's just a very odd system, but that's what it is currently. Um, yeah, you have the complementary native hut on each Mario map. You've got fairly straight areas. Even the middle of water didn't actually constrain it too much. You just need to tailor plabs here and then relegate this to patricians and you're fine. These corners can be used for food or goods. And the, the trade is insane. Like, I don't like this. This is too much. Even the first one was just making me thousands upon thousands of denarii and profit pretty much immediately, which, well, I mean, you should work for it. I like when the map offers you plenty of possibility to do a lot of volume, but if it's just broken, you know, it's not enjoyable when money becomes not an issue at, at all and it's just about what you can build feasibly. And it's not, that's not what I enjoy most of the time, because it kind of trivializes a lot of the city building aspects since money is just not a problem but uh, maybe it's just me I don't know overall I'd say uh, it's not a bad map it's not difficult by any stretch I what I don't like is the no requests if you have this tight time limit uh, instead of making me grind the favor like crazy I can do it I did it it's just not good and fun so you know asking people for goods is actually one constraining your economy a little bit uh, while at the same time providing them with the rating so they don't have to grind it with gifts. So that would have been nice, but that's what it is. Let's take a look if there is someone we can raid. Probably no, I didn't see anyone live. Only I am playing Caesar. Oh. What else? Nobody's playing Pharaoh. Nobody's playing Emperor. I'm just gonna end it here. There's no one online from the community, so I'll just call it. But thanks for watching, and I might be playing something else uh, later since this was very quick, but I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet. So that's it for now. Bye.